More on Morsi's sentence, let's turn to Cole Bockenfeld. He's the advocacy director of the Project on Middle East Democracy, a think tank that focuses on Middle East policies. Cole, welcome. Thank you. So first, I'd like to get your reaction to the death sentence being confirmed or upheld. Are you surprised? Uh, no, I don't, I don't think this, uh, many people expected it to be overturned at, at this stage. You know, we've seen in Egypt over the last year or so a lot of these mass death sentences reviewed uh, by the Grand Mufti, and some of them have been overturned. Uh, but a lot of them, including on the most senior leadership, of course, have been upheld in the process. So what is next as far as the appeal process goes? How long do you expect that to take? Mm -hmm. And how much will Morsi's defiance and reaction in court play a role in this country, in the United States? Mm -hmm. A defendant on trial, people will be looking at how they react to certain things. Mm -hmm. Does it work the same way in Egypt? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, the appeals process could really take uh, up to a year. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that we've seen in several of these cases that these things tend to drag out uh, quite a long time, especially, you know, he was one of uh, more than 100 defendants. And so there should be really a lot of uh, sort of processing involved in that if it was a fair appeals process. Uh, I think his, his attitude today, you know, isn't really a surprise. Uh, that The defense team really based their defense that he is the legitimate president of Egypt. This court has no authority. Uh, and, and therefore doesn't sort of recognize that. And I think he's continuing to exhibit that confidence uh, that somehow he, he maintains that legitimacy while this regime uh, does not. Amnesty International says the ruling demonstrates the appalling state of the country's justice system. Your reaction, is this a country that has an appalling justice system? Oh, absolutely. I, I think uh, over the past couple of years, uh, we've, real see, we've really seen a politicization uh, of the judiciary, uh, where they've really gone after, especially led by the prosecutor general in that country, uh, really all of their opponents, you know, including the Muslim Brother, but also some of the liberal youth uh, sort of secular activists in the country, uh, that they're seeking to reassert themselves as, as a force to be reckoned with and are definitely settling some old scores and really doing so in, in a very political way and, and not even really uh, pretending uh, to evaluate uh, sort of the facts of the cases in front of them. Cole, the Muslim Brotherhood at one point played a huge role in this country when uh, Morsi was obviously elected. Now it's a banned organization. It's considered a terror organization. How much support does this group really have? I imagine because it's banned, people are not really vocal even if they do mm -hmm. support the group. Mm -hmm. Well, I, you know, you have seen in some of the polling there that the, the brother does really have a core group of supporters in Egypt, uh, and it's often sort of estimated, say around 20 percent, maybe a little less, uh, that are true supporters in the country. Of course, they're not as, as vocal because, uh, you know, as they've seen, anyone mm -hmm. that does speak up uh, is arrested and thrown in prison. I mean, there's more than 42,000 political prisoners in Egypt today, and those aren't all brotherhood folks, uh, but a lot of them are. And so there's a real uh, sort of hesitance uh, for them to be vocal. My concern is that it, you know, this verdict today and upholding it, uh, some that have said, okay, we'll continue to pursue a, a nonviolent path, maybe they'll look at this and say there's no justice for us in that uh, and, and, and start pursuing violent means against the state. And that's, a, I think, a huge concern for Egypt and, and for U.S. watching this. The Arab League, the international community, should they be doing anything? Should, I mean, what is their responsibility in all this? Do they have a responsibility? Well, you know, we've seen some pretty strong statements uh, today. Uh, you know, the U.S. called, of course, this uh, sort of politically motivated uh, case, you know, again decried this practice of, of mass death sentences. The U.N., of course, has opposed this as, and the death penalty in, in principle. Uh, but it really hasn't been enough to, to stop this forward progression. I would be surprised, though, that if the, the sort of death sentence was carried out, and that if you did see real executions in the country, I think that would be a real tipping point in the country and for the international community, uh, that while they've been pushing back strongly, that would change the, the tone of engagement with Egypt and how they look at this government. All right, we'll leave it at that. Cole Bockenfeld, we certainly appreciate your time. Thank you.